Good evening, everyone. Right now on Kanisi, it's 11.10 p.m. on a Wednesday, February 28, 2024. Now for today's announcement. Today, we have a visitor staying at the campsite. And I hope the entire island joins me in giving our guests a warm welcome. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Amazing. Alright, so, hey guys, it's good to be back again, and we've done a lot of episodes already. Kind of amazing how our island is slowly developing over time. Right, Flick? Oh, uh, hi, do you live here? I'm Flick. Um, kind of a bug buff, an insect enthusiast, an arthropod artistic. Artiste. This? I don't know. <laughs> I love all bugs and their appendages. I've been traveling across all the islands looking for my soul bug. Perfect inspiration for my art. I must capture every wiggling leg, each point of the antenna. We're so lucky to have. <laughs> We're so lucky to live in our world. We're in their world. If you find me a bug, will you sell it to me? I can pay a little extra, no price. It's too high for my. Uh. Genius can. In dread. Can you, can you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's any bug. Devotion with conditions isn't devotion at all. Uh huh. Oh. And if you're um interested in my art at all, just let me know. My commission. <laughs> all right. Maybe another time. Oh, yeah, of course. But if you know, but if you, you know, change your mind, I'll be here until 5 a.m. tomorrow. So, thank you. I appreciate my buggy dude. Okay. Um. Well, basically, what I want to do is. I want to find out. I can move. Um. This. Can you move it here? Oh, yeah, I might want to move it down a bit. <laughs> I think I did say in the past to move it back, but I kind of want to move it down. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well tonight, or this evening, morning, whatever time zone you're in. Ah, my upper back is a little... stiff. Ah, Canis, hello, hello. This is the construction consultation corner. How may I help you? Well, let's talk infrastructure. Um, layout changes if possible. You probably thought, oh, that building would be better elsewhere. It's to the best of us. I'm all here for you. We can talk about layout changes that take full advantage of your, our island's terrain. Moving buildings is of course an elective service, so there are construction costs for you to cover. But don't let a few battles stop you from keeping our island to its most ideal form, hmm? Now then, is there... if there's a building you have in mind, we can discuss moving 
it now. How about it? Let's talk relocation. So we're gonna move the shop. Moving that will cost you ten thousand bells. So do you want? So do you want to suggest moving it? Yes, let's do it. I definitely want to do it. <laughs> do it to me and tell me think of the idea. Then hold on for hold on a while while I contact them. And yeah, we're gonna wake them up. <laughs> Call them over here. Of course, they always say yes. I mean, business is always going to be booming, especially with me around. <laughs> but it's more for aesthetic purposes. That's really it. Well, Kenna, since the matter of moving is now settled, I'll take that construction fee now. Next, I'd like you to pick out the new location. In your pockets, you'll find the shop moving kit you will need. Find the spot and deploy. Okay. I don't know if it's going to allow me to deploy where I want to, but we'll see. We, we will definitely see. Plus, it doesn't always have to be permanent, you know, because it different places, places over time. Hmm. If a place structure is too close to each other, it will block the flow of traffic. Better choose another place. Do it here. We need the same mess. Yeah, so I can't really do that. If there's a different location that I need to put, where would it be? Oh, if there's a different location I need, where else would it be is my question. I could probably put it on the left hand side. I do want to have things spread out a little bit. Um, and I think it would be a little wise. I'm looking at the top left corner, or looking at the map at the bottom right. If I were to, and if you were to cut it into fours, or pieces, I'm looking at the top left on the map. Let's go take a look and we'll think about it for a moment. Yeah, I basically want to just um, I do want to have something here. We'll see. But it's also good to spread, you know, um, places, some spots. So right here is supposed to be um, more crops, like maybe sugarcane and um, carrots. Yeah. Um. Okay. So hmm, putting the shop here would be a pretty good idea, but. I could have a home elsewhere. I don't know where else, but somewhere. Okay, so at least for now, where would I even put it? Because <clears throat> I don't want to have it too far. I think it's going to be more of a temporary place. Of course, getting 10,000 bells is easy. Okay, well, for now, we can move it somewhere in this area, 
like maybe here for now. Let's just uh, get rid of this stump. Okay. Okay, let's imagine it. Doesn't seem so bad. I could even put like a fence behind it, but for now. Kind of cool, you know, right by the beach area too. Might want to move the able sisters. Um. Ooh, and if I were to have it continue this way, I could definitely put a bridge. Okay, maybe I actually did pick a good location. Maybe I did. You know, because it's like a shack, right? And maybe I could put like surfboards and, you know, beach up beach stuff. I don't know. Like a cozy little, um... Yeah, like a cozy, like a cozy little shack <laughs> to buy and sell stuff, right? Yo, my boy Sasha. Hmm. Hey, fish, 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 fish. Hey, I wish, wish, wish you'd come and play with me. Oh, you're so adorable. I love you, Sasha. Never change. I don't want to take a good picture of you, actually. If that's okay. I like how he just looks up. That's a good one. That's a good one right here. Um. Hold on. You know what? Um. Maybe. I could snap a picture when he looks at me. Come on. Come on, Sasha. Please. He has to go pss, like a cat. <laughs> no, but he's a bunny. I gotta give him like lettuce or something. I don't know. Apparently you can't give uh, carrots to bunnies because I think it's like toxic for them or oh. I don't even know how the whole giving a bunny a carrot <laughs> um, trope started. Oh, and he's gone. Okay. Just... Okay, I'll stick with that. <laughs> cute. Oh, that's actually really cute too. Okay, anyways. Get back. Back to it. Now, um... I do want to continue uh, making progress on our island, and that's moving. Um, okay, well, first of all, I need more. I need to uh, gather more bells, but I could do that later when um, we start growing uh, our fruits, because we've already harvested them. But the next thing I do want to do is, um, you know, like I'm doing right now, actually make a pathway. Make a pathway going up to here, this area. And I think that's a good idea. You know, really f defining the routes, the routes of, um, island. I don't know, I'm just putting path down. Uh, kind of nice. <laughs> Especially when done right. Okay, so that's supposed to be... Um... All farmland. I'm gonna remove this for now. 
move this down. Okay. We're gonna keep going down. Like, I don't want it to be too perfect. I want to have some, you know, some interesting, unique routes. You know, some curves. Yeah, this is this is pretty nice. So, um, as many of you have probably noticed, for those of you that are, you know, actively watching the channel and probably expecting some content here and there, I totally missed out on Meme Reacts. I did not post a Meme Reacts video on Tuesday, and when I'm here, it's, when, it's Wednesday, and I posted it today. I didn't check how it's doing, I just kind of don't want to, to be honest with you. It's more like, okay, did what I have to do, and I'm gonna do a little better next time, but I'm not gonna hold myself accountable too much, because, yes, I think on Monday and Tuesday, I was spiraling mentally, feeling pretty down, and I wanted to um, give myself a bit of a break. I was feeling a little bit of burnout, and I was more not just so much burnout from what I'm doing, you know, regarding my channel, or just feeling burnout and feeling hurt, feeling sad, mostly hurt, and stressed <clears throat> from others. Be it family or once friends and possible relationships that didn't happen. And you know what? I need to accept that that is okay. Fine. It didn't happen, it didn't happen. In terms of relationships. And that's okay. Um, there's always somebody out there, right? Always gonna be people out there. But that said, I I felt like I no longer needed to be the friend therapist or the family therapist. I needed my time to get away and stay away for at least a day. And try not to worry too much about um, work, you know? Try not to worry too much about content creating. Because that could also add stress, but it's in a way good stress, you know? <laughs> okay, so, um, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, I need food. That's why I was going around here. I was looking for, like, food, but I was also thinking, oh, I should go home. It's really hard to multitask, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I was, I've been hurt. I've been feeling hurt, and you know what? It is what it is, a lot of people say. And it is annoying for me to say that. It's annoying for me to hear when people say, it is what it is. That's just like giving up, right? But sometimes it's not always giving up. It's more just accepting the fact that we're accepting things that you cannot control. That's pretty much it. I accept that I cannot control what is, um, well, I accept that the outcome, because it is not within my control, but therefore I should not worry about it. But I should give myself the allowance time to feel and think, okay, and you know, I'm kind of thinking out loud here, but you could probably maybe have, you could probably, there may be some value in this thought process. Who knows? Uh, okay, well, things didn't go as planned, or you, you've been backstabbed, or you feel like you've been betrayed and things didn't go your way. It's better to not be too upset about it. It's okay to be upset about it, but it's best not to backlash. It's best not to, you know, um, act out. 
You could feel the way you're feeling. You could feel hateful or spiteful towards a person, but decorate your emotions with action, you know? So on anything that you feel like you want to, you know, feel malicious, like, oh, how dare they? They want to do something about it. Well, you can, but it's also best to do nothing about, you know, um, it's also best to do nothing when it comes to taking action on the person, but you can do something for yourself. And that's to allow yourself to feel hurt. Work on yourself a little more, you know? Um, move forward, push yourself. You know, to want to be better, do better. Um, and just like, accept that, okay, things didn't go well. I'm gonna work out. You know, I'm gonna be happier. I don't need this person to make me happy. We all feel that way. We all feel like, oh, we need them. Do we really? I mean, honestly, like... There are plenty of... So-and-sos, whoever it was... Out there. Or, there are better out there. You know? You see the true nature in me that has hurt you. And best thing you could do is not entertain it anymore because that's not healthy what is healthy is giving yourself the space the time to be like you know to um be kind to yourself i think that's really important actually Have, uh, you know what? I wonder. I know I have the DIY, but I might just need sticks for it. Harder wood. Oh. oh, okay. Should have harder wood. I should just make it anyways, even if I'm not gonna be able to um, get the balloon, with the present. Yeah, I mean, I've dealt with breakups many, many times. I've even broken up with people, and that's been hard. We're always going to be the bad guy at some point, and I hate to be that way, but your happiness needs to come um, above anyone else's, because first you got to make yourself happy, and then once you got that locked in, then you have room or an, a better understanding as to how to make other people happy. You have more room to make others, you know, happy. And that's kind of how I see it. I'm I'm saying all this, but I'll be honest with you. I do need to take my own advice sometimes because I may not always listen to myself. But that's just a human thing. I say that because it it is difficult. Emotions, sometimes when they run high, makes us do stupid things. It drives us to... You know, be the best or the worst person of ourselves. In our minds, they're there to regulate. Is this a good idea? You're probably giving yourself too much to another person. You're not giving yourself enough self-respect or, you know, you, uh, maybe it's best not to send that hateful email or hateful text. Or, hey, I know you're horny, but I think sending a dick pic is a bad idea to somebody who you don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I say that as like a scenario because I know there are people out there that, you know, are really horny and they'll just like be all up in your DMs and it's like, oh god. <laughs> I've had that experience before and it's like, hmm, it's nice. At first, and then it starts to get stale and boring, and then sometimes, or most often, you come to the conclusion of you just want to be treated like a person, you know? 
being treated as like a sex object or and nothing else only comes when you trust the person enough that you already know that they love you for who you are as a person the kinky stuff could come later or it could come you know along with getting to know a person i don't know <laughs> but these are just my experiences oh they seem to be talking too much but that's a good thing it means i'm giving more value in this uh let's play than more than other uh episodes all right let's craft what we need to craft Oh, thank you so much, Flick. You're charming. I'm all done for now. Okay. Thanks, Flick. You're awesome. A little bit later, we're gonna start um, heading to the brick, but not now. Uh, brick path. So basically, this whole main section, I want it to be brick pathing. And then the upper section, you know, maybe here would be all wood. That'd be a good idea. Even higher would be, uh, I don't know. Wood as well? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe some parks would have mosaic. Maybe near the beaches would have a different type of pathway. Alright, so let's uh, continue eating some pears. So yeah, um, I may have said I, you know, don't worry about breakup too much, but don't worry, but it's okay to feel hurt. It's okay to feel these feelings. As long as you acknowledge them, you know that you're going through the motions, you know, that's probably the best time to give you all the love and care you need. You know, go to people that love you or who you are. And sometimes if you don't have anybody, I could only hope. Since you're, if you're listening, these videos do justice because I know I've been there. this rock. We'll wait on it. <laughs> Maybe I am going to. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking about like, you know how people will get broken up in a relationship, like this trope of Okay, then you're gonna be like cuddled up on the couch and eating a big ol' you know, bowl of ice cream. Honestly, that sounds good, but <laughs> I think the way I dealt with- okay, so I think the way I dealt with the breakup was a lot of crying, a lot of um very lonely moments, but I just had to push through no matter what. Go through my life, go through my day. Not easy, I, I get it. Definitely not easy at all. And I'm kind of going through it again, but not to the level as it once was back in 2016 or 2015. I think 16. Um, because being hurt again is a very recognizable feeling for me. And it's not to say, oh, woe me. Or, you know, oh, poor thing. Or I don't... It's not to be edgy or anything like that. No, it's more of... Okay. I know where I'm at. I know I'm here now. 
I, I recognize this feeling, so therefore, I know how to deal with it. And it's gonna hurt, it's gonna be annoying, and I'm gonna be angry, because it's frustrating. Nobody likes to feel this feeling. Nobody likes to feel hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna break it. <laughs> how to push through and I went through therapy and it took a lot of healing a lot of time it took years and even then I still feel a little bit of you know melancholy but now after so many times of feeling hurt after being in many relationships different relationships being in relationships having people having those relationships be betrayed or me ending the relationship because I wasn't happy M many factors um I kind of know how to better handle it but that doesn't mean I'm perfect at it you know I still like put out a tweet you know f saying how oh so miserable I am or festering and anger and all that but that said I just, I worked out. I wanted to be the best, um, better version of myself that I could be. I mean, it's something that is really important to think about and focus on. It. You're hurt. Where do we go from here? Love yourself. Okay, how? Um, well, what are things that you could do to improve yourself? What is self-improvement, right? What are things that you don't like about yourself that you want to change? Is that working out? Is that... Um... Practicing more on a hobby that you... Haven't been paying much attention to? Or... Are you too scared to try something... That you've always been wanting to try and maybe... Now is the time to do it. To not only better your self-esteem, your confidence, but it helps you forget, you know, the pain and suffering. And you're focusing on a different kind of pain and suffering, but a better kind, a good kind. You know? She's like, oh my god, I'm so anxious of starting this new thing, whatever it may be. <laughs> bridge here. I'm gonna have to set that up. I believe we can. We could put it here. The pathway here. It may or may not work. So we'll see. Yeah, this is all just advice from your wolf boy, who is still looking, who's still, you know, having his eyes open, not constantly actively pursuing, but, you know, there, there's always going to be hope. Never say you're never going to not be in a relationship. I don't know, never say you're going to be in a relationship. Never say you're not going to be in a relationship. There you go. If you want to be in one. Don't. Never say that no one fit for you. There's always that one person. All you need is one. And if you're in a poly, uh, poly relationship, there's always two. Or three. <laughs> so, at least do your wolf boy a favor and don't say those things. You're better than that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're... 
I may not know you, uh, but you may know me a little bit. But even then, if you're here watching me, I, could, I already know a little bit about you. And how? Oh, am I so bold? Well, because people who watch me are awesome. And it makes you awesome. <laughs> you are an awesome person. And, uh, that's the thing, is, um... You know, I, I believe in people. I don't like to have the perception of everybody is bad at default. And the world is really not going to be a good place. Especially your world, if you hold those views. Granted, so many people may have burned you, or betrayed you, or caused you pain, or some kind of suffering. It does suck a lot. But there are so many people out there that are not like that. It takes loving yourself first and foremost, and then, you know, honestly, like, relationships sometimes, or dating, or, you know, experiencing new people and talking to them, um, they will come. <laughs> They'll come to you. You'll find out who they are. If they're good to you, good. If they're not, then even better for you because you don't need that in your life. You know who to, you, you, you could filter them out. You know who to stick with. You know who to go to and not to go to. It's all learning. Social creatures. We're figuring out one another, who we are, what we are, what they are like. How they are like. What makes them tick? What makes you tick? Yeah. So, we did quite a bit. Oh. Wait a minute, did I miss? Oh, I did miss this one. Wait in a moment. Nope. Don't, don't mean to shake the tree. He's wearing glasses. That's so cute. Very cute. Okay. He is ready for some business. Look at him. Damn, Sasha. You working? Working hard? And this, my dude. Look at that. Look at him. Oh, no, nope, I'm not ending yet. Coming with me. Wanna take a look at what we got so far? And yeah, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing good. Cleared some trees away. We have a bunch here. Um, I think I'll put another here then. for now. This is where it stops. Put another one here. You know, give some depth, I guess. Okay. It'd be in the forest, right? Oh, it should be. Another tree here. There we go. That works. 
might need to put flowers there because I don't like the weeds. <laughs> I, I would relocate the house, but nah. Anyways, I think we did good on our path. We're gonna, we're gonna continue. But next time, um, we're gonna work on gathering more bells. So that, oops, sorry. So that way, um, we could continue with our, we could continue funding, um, you know, this construction here. And then we'll work on, um, a bridge. Not this one, but another one. The one that's right below. Here. Yeah, right here. Would be a perfect spot for a bridge. The island of Kinesi is popping. <laughs> it's 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 getting there. Little by little, right? Alright guys. It was really fun chatting with you guys. I'm I It's nice. It's nice to see you again. It's nice to hear from you. And I say that because even if nobody leaves the comments of people, I see the numbers, I see the views. You know, they're here. And it always makes me happy. Whether people like the video, they subscribe, it just means that they enjoy who I am, they enjoy my presence. And if you are new here, and you like what you hear, you like what you see, if you like something about this, or me, or whatever, you know, um, subscribing would be amazing. <laughs> Please. Now, I'm gonna be heading out, okay? I want you to take care of yourself. Give yourself all the love, all the support, you know, give yourself a big hug, because you definitely need it. And you deserve it. Because you're an amazing human being. Okay. I'll see you guys later, okay? Have a good one. <laughs>